got a little bit difficult for you. Did you ever had a time that you felt that you should be a superstar? That you watch people speak, to see people sing. You say, listen, man, I would like to be in that podium to carry a message forward. You know what? I have done that in the past. And sometimes difficulties tell me, hold up. You might not have what you need. You might not know what you need to know. You're not, you might not have the ability to speak forward. Let me tell you a small story about myself. My mom took a lot of time with me, and she always told me, Louis, you're a talkative little kid. You're always welcoming people up the door. Not only that, you bring them inside the house. And my God, you probably bring the wrong people. I'm kind of scared. Many a times, she had to correct me, but she never stopped me. She showed me how to write. She showed me how to express myself. And not only that, she showed me how to love because an expression, it always has to be carried in a, can a candid and precious way for people to understand. Now, my dad done something completely. To me, it was off the par. He a hard worker guy, but every time he had time off, he would take the whole crew of kids out for walk, for hike, out to the beach. There was neighbors or people come to visit. He would put a plate when he was eating, even half his plate to go and share it with them. He was very humble. But not only that, he was a leader in a group for people that are UCBs. And I seen him operate. I seen him encourage. I seen him go out of his way to help them. So he showed me that he was a humble servant. You know what? They always showed me that I can. I can. And by the way, when I say I can, as I read, I re listened to that from Eric Thomas. He says, I can, I will, and I must. And those three things hit me right in the head, showed me parts of my life that they were already in the works, but I didn't realize that's actually happening. So my family showed me that I can. Now, I went into the military and sometimes went a little bit sideways in my behavior, but I had the problem with ego. Learned a little bit about leadership. When I was in the military, I fell. I had a bad accident, broke an arm, broke a leg. And you know what? That humbled me once again. It says, your ego, your ability is not what I need. I need your availability. Put me in a place that I had to rediscover myself. I moved into my professional ways as a toolmaker. They made me a supervisor of 20, of 30. And things start going really well. But what happens? That ego start climbing right back up to me. The ego of the man that sometimes is very dangerous. I was overcome, overcoming leadership. And sometimes not leaving a real good taste in their mind, even if I was taking care of, of my employees. What happens right after that? I suffer a stroke. 2007, I thought I was done. Very close to the death. At that point in time, I knew there was something wrong and I was going the wrong direction. I went back, I recovered again. I went back to my old behavior. The ego process forward, built fantastic teams. But one thing that I notice in that part is not building fantastic teams. I build fantastic friends, people that see me through the years, even if I'm not with them. So he showed me that humble love relationship carries forward to be able to, to accomplish a goal. Well, in 2015, I fell on my back 17 foot. And I thought that was going to be the end of me. I lost my mental capabilities, and not only that, my confidence. My family was standing by me saying, Lewis, you might not make it. But once again, I was right back. When I recovered th six months later, I was let go from that company. Now I lost it all. There was three crushes that I had to overcome. One thing happened to me. They brought me to service and the preacher explained to me the process of how God prepared Moses. And right there, 
it brought me right back to earth. It says, Lewis, if you can't speak, I'll put somebody to speak with you. If you don't have the power, I'll give you the power. If you don't have the confidence, I will fill you with confidence because somebody needs to hear what I have to say. I need you to pull my people out of Egypt. And you, that humble guy that couldn't do anything stood right in front of them, right in front of Pharaoh and says, listen, if you do not let them go, this is going to happen. And every pestilence after that proved that God was God. One thing that always enticed me, that even at his people, he says, if you do not obey me, you probably lose your only begotten son. And that right there brought me to the I will. It says, Lewis, you already got the abilities. You already got everything you possibly need. The only thing I need you to do is obey. Put yourself into action. And I tell you, my fellow Toastmasters, you have the I can because that's what we're going to help you do. We're going to empower you to carry forward a beautiful, powerful, loving, impactful message. You have the I will, because not only that you're going to carry something, you know that somewhere out, somebody out there is waiting for you to help them, because we need to pick them up and build those leaders. And today, I know that I have to, I will carry that message to others out there because it doesn't have to be an audience. It only needs to be one person that I can impact them and possibly change their life. You know what? You're in the most powerful group ever. Please join us. Please carry that baton because someone is waiting for you, your example, and your love. Thank you.